everyone and welcome back to Niche. And we are here with our tribe, which we finally have the wings. And not only that, but we have moved the mountains. And I have a feeling this tribe could be quite good at uh, surviving in the mountains because there do tend to be a lot of rabbits that run around everywhere. Uh, I see one, two, three, four, five rabbit burrows on here already and already a bunny too so these guys could become quite the strong hunters but they're all out of moves so right now we're gonna start a new day and this uh this bunny right here may find he's in for a bit of a a, <laughs> a startling surprise there okay let's fly back here and we have little, or that's not, that's Cecilia. We have Masana, who looks a lot like her father, but with a beak. And she has C and B immunity, G and A. Actually, she and Von Von could end up being mates. Despite the fact that they are siblings, they could end up being mates. And she has the stinky tail, but I think what we're going to do is we'll actually give her the scorpion tail. Let's see, where is that? Scorpion tail. Da, 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 da. It's right here. Okay. Uh, I didn't actually select it. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, and she also has pretty good genes for the most part, except she does have this heat body. And I really want to focus on getting rid of uh, our... Actually, the heat body helps them in the cold, but I want, I want to have the... Well, I guess speed doesn't really matter, though. So it might be worth, in that case, I don't think speed... So wait, let's see. So flying is eight. How far they can fly with one action. She can't actually fly. But these guys all have eight flying. So it might be worth breeding in the um, this uh, armor body so that they don't take a lot of damage. Although what I eventually want to do is breed in the, the cold body, or the big body, which gives some strength. So where is that? So we haven't really done that yet. We need to focus on breeding our genetics a little bit more specifically so far. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven ports over here that we could use to go to a harder island, which I think will be a little bit colder. And so if we can consolidate some of our genetics, I think we should be able to do that. Uh, there is a bunny down here, and I think Kurovan may... Kurovan may come over here... And what I think we'll do now is, so Taduknu is our breeding male. Let's have, um, let's have Izrana come and breed with him, and then Rorota can step over here, and Izrana can come over here. And then Ananice, we'll leave her here for now, but we'll actually take Taduknu over here, and have him grab the leech off of Kurovan so that he doesn't take damage. And I'm going to move Von Von up here. And I think what we'll do is we might send Von Von, Mesana, and Lalara perhaps over to the other side of the island to investigate this, um, this, uh, this ice block here and see kind of what's up over there. So let's have you, you can come down here. We'll go ahead, we'll breed, we'll collect. You can nest, and since she doesn't have the beak, she actually can't collect. But maybe we'll have Anala come down here, and she should still be okay, it's not too cold. And do we actually have any of the creatures with the antenna? We do not. We don't, unfortunately. Alright, so I was gonna say maybe we could try to predict the weather, but I don't think so. Oh, there we go, it did work. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll start a new day. And we got the Ruler of the Mountains achievement. I actually don't know what that achievement is for. Uh, but let's see. Let's have you gather here, and then you can come back over here. And then what I think I'll do is... Maybe... Where would it be good to have him sit? Um... Ananias can come up here and nest. Oh, there's another, there's another berry bush right here. Let's have him come up here and he can sit under this tree and then she can hop over, breed. You can step over this way and come back down to the nest. We also have Rice, who I think we're not probably going to breed with Rice because she does have the cracker jaw. She's got lesser fertility and... 
Like, I think these guys would be a better breeding pair because they have better fertility. They both have a beak. Uh, and let's actually have Lalara come this way. And then you can step up here. We'll breed. And she can't actually gather, but Anala can. And so we'll have these guys. I'm going to breed quite a few creatures, I think, because we want to be able to have quite a lot of exploring going on here. Let's go ahead and we'll breed these guys again. Oh, there's a Krabbit. Okay, we can't... We can only attack them from behind. Um... But you could dig this up. Okay, so this Krabbit is uh, not going to end up... Um, we can't attack him this turn. Oh yeah, and you can gather from here. Let's have you step over here, and you can start gathering from this toxic berry bush. Uh, now, you have a scorpion tail, right? Yes, so Rorota has a scorpion tail. Now, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to have our collector line be as... Um... Like, I don't know if we'll have them be... In fact, do, I don't know that we really need as much of a collector line because these guys are fairly well adapted. So, like, if we look at Masana, she will have this, uh, the Venomous from the Scorpion Tail when we get that bread in. And, in fact, we should put that in... Oh, we did put that in her mutation menu. Um, she'll have the Bird Beak, which does give her collecting. So, if she has to, she can collect. She can also dig... Uh, she can fly to get around. She can also hunt because, and she will be able to hunt fairly well because she'll have quite a bit of strength eventually. And it might be possible to just station a bunch of creatures on these, um, uh, to have them stationed on these different stumps and such and have them fly around from there. It might be very possible to do that. And so I don't even know if we'll totally need all of the, uh, I don't know if we'll actually need all of the, the collecting line either, but we'll continue to work with them for now. And I don't really want to lose the poison fangs. I, I do like having those. And so I think we'll keep working with them for now. What we do need to do is work on strength. And so for now, and oh my goodness, Kokois, look at her. She's so pretty. Look how pretty she is. She has that nice stripey pattern that I love so much. And in addition to that, she has the scorpion tail. She actually has pretty much perfect genetics. C and B, C and A. So she might be a good choice for breeding creature. But with that said, these guys all have, um, they all have two, um, they all have two movement now. And so I think what we'll do is we'll have them all fly over here and they can kind of huddle over here for the time, and then uh, we'll have them see how quickly they can make their way across the mountain. They can really get around, although they will have to be slower if we want to bring the creature we find over here back with us, which we probably will. Let's keep reading these guys and see, and hopefully, let's move uh, to Duke Duke, who actually has the heat body. He radiates heat, and so these guys are, are getting warmed up, and I bet that means that he could actually, um, he could actually warm up, like, if he and Anala went off by themselves and were away from any other pack mates, so, like, <gasps> that's a coconut tree, no! <laughs> oh, no! But, like, if, let's, just for the sake of it, I'll put her here for one turn. So, she's still being warmed up because he radiates heat, and so that's a good thing. Oh, please don't tell me we're going to have a coconut fall on his head. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, so I'm going to have Kurovan come over here and attack. And then you can attack. You can attack again. You can attack again. And there we go. Um, and she is pregnant. So we've got some pretty good creatures here. So we have a lot of this, uh, a lot of the poison fang here. So we have honorary C and D, C and G. We needed to get okay C and G. We got we got to keep breeding for the poison fangs basically. So you can continue to gather here. Why don't you step over this way? Oh, we've got a bunny stealing from our berry bush. Oh no, uh, right down there. But we don't have a winged creature, or do we? He can't quite fly all the way over in one turn. But he could come pretty close. I don't think we'll we'll mess with him there, though. Uh, but what I think we will do is we'll have you step up here, breed, and then step over to this nest. You can gather this acorn. And then you could step up here, we'll breed, and then I'll have you come down here and nest. And we should be able to continue breeding them that way and then eventually have quite a selection of creatures to choose from. So let's start a new day. 
and oh oh boy i think uh, i think kiro cure might might jump at this chance i think let's have let's have you kakois i don't want you getting in trouble so we'll have you come over here what is okay that was them let's have you gather that bunny stole you can gather from here oh oh no you can't rise i'm so sorry I didn't realize she didn't- Oh, Rice, I'm so sorry. At least we have a healing fruit. Oh, no! We also have Kadukta, who is a toxic-bodied poison fang creature. Let's have you step over here. You can breed. You can step down here, and you can go sit in your nest. You- Let's have you step up here. Breed. You can step over here for one turn, and then you can quickly step back. There we go. But what I want to see happen here is I want to see, now that she's pregnant, he can actually attack the bird of prey. Oh my goodness, he can fly and attack the bird of prey. Oh my goodness. This changes everything. <gasps> oh my goodness. And you can get that bunny. We can actually attack the birds of prey now. So... To Duke Duke, let's have you come up this way. You can step over here, Duke Tara. We have a lot of that uh, that heat body coming in from this group. Okay, Anala, let's have you do some gathering here. Does Anala... Anala has the H gene, so she has pretty bad fertility. Uh, let's see if we could get in better fertility. And does she have any other problems? She actually has the secondary beak. She's got the armor body, which is good to see. She doesn't have hemophilia. She's actually a pretty healthy creature. Um... I think what we could do... Oh, did I forget to move these guys last time? I don't think I did. Uh, what could we do? Let's have... She could breed. Let's have... Her, let's have Anala breed with, um... With Vonra. So we'll come over here. We'll breed them and I'll have him fly back. And she can nest here. Because I'd like to try and get that H immunity in the family with at least one creature. And then we can kind of pass it on through the generation. So let's have you hop up here. So that we can see really, really far. You can fly down here... Let's have you attack. You can fly up to the stump and gather. Who's got a leech? Someone has a leech. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, it is you. Oh, no. And nobody can actually reach him either. Oh, no. That's not good. Well, we'll have to have him uh, on his next turn. We'll have to make sure we get rid of that. Actually, no. Rise can't quite reach him. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll go ahead and start a new day. We'll have... Okay. So, he's been bitten. We'll go ahead, remove the leech there. If that bird comes back, we'll come after it again. But it looks like it's moving off. There's also a Baryena here. So we'll attack, attack. Um, we'll have... Who else should we have attack? Now might actually be a Nala's time to shine. Because how much damage... Okay, 10 days. Let's have uh, to Duke Duke come up here and attack. And then Anala. Let's have um, Kuta, Ku, Kukuta can come over here. Let's you can fly down here, and then Anala can step up here and attack you. I'm actually gonna move Rice over this way because we're gonna this way we can make sure we're not gonna have her take any more damage by accident. But I'm also gonna move Rice over towards this healing fruit, and then. I think Kiro Kier can return and breed again. And we'll take a look through all of our creatures here and see which ones would be optimal to breed. Let's breed and then dig. And then we don't need to restore that just yet. You can gather from there. And let's see. You can step or you can step up here, breed. You can step over here. You can sit here. Who keeps moving around? Oh, it's that bunny's moving in and out. Okay, that's what's going on. That makes sense. Okay. Um, and then you... Why don't you step over here? You can step over here. Breed. You can step over here, and then you can jump back to this nest. You can gather this acorn and gather some grass as well. And we'll start figuring out breeding pairs once we've made sure we've got pretty much everyone ready, uh, ready to go here. So, let's see. This guy needs, ooh, how much damage do you do? He does two. 
Um, we might be able to attack twice. And then three days remaining. Do we have anyone else who's a little bit stronger? Let's send Duke Taro over here. I don't think he's quite... No, he's not strong enough to finish the Baryuna. Actually, Kakois could hop over, and she does have two strength. And... How much strength did he have? He just had one. Okay, he did just have one. So Kakois, I normally wouldn't want to risk her, but she can actually finish the Baryuna. So she's not going to be in any danger. Let's actually have you swoop down and grab that uh, that bunny there. You can swoop over here. You can swoop over here. And you can come down here. And then we can crack open this ice block and see what's inside. Oh, Rasiko! You are a lovely surprise. So let's look at her Megaloceros horns. So I don't think there's any restricts to flight with them, which is a little bit interesting, I, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that because that's pretty much what I was hoping for. Uh, I've been hoping we can get those big Megaloceros horns into the family. And let's actually take a look at... So I want to breed... Um, okay, you, Lamiana, you do not have double wings, so that's not as optimal. Um, but P Kakois does have the double wings, and so she's got C and A. She has the beak. She does have the, the heat body, which could be good. But I want to put those Megaloceros horns in her mutation menu because we'd like to see a creature that would have those show up in the family. And let's see. So I think we may actually move on pretty quickly here <laughs> and not spend too much time lingering around. We'll see. Um, because it might be worth it to just go to the next, uh, next island pretty quickly. So let's see, we have an AG male and a CD female. I think that's actually the different genes we have. So A, B, C, G, D. Okay, so we know we need one more female with a different genetic, or pr preferably female. But we, I guess we could take a male too. So A, G, C, D. C, G could not breed. C, G could not breed. A, G... A, G, and C, D. Um, actually, these guys have the same genes, though. So, let's actually... I'm going to keep this heat body because I do like that. Um, or it's beneficial in the cold. What about you? B, D, C, D. So, no, we can't quite move on just yet. Uh, but pretty soon we probably could. Um, we just need to kind of get our, our genetics sorted out a little bit more. So... Let's go ahead and we'll start the next day and see how things work out here. Oh, oh boy, this is exactly what we wanted to see. Where is the bunny stealing from us? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Oh, and a crabbit has passed away. That's good news for us. Let's have you gather from these. You can gather from all of these. And, okay. So, let's see, which creatures do we have? We did have a female-born C and D, C and D, so those are the same. Um, but let's take a look at over here. So, I think, all right, how much, okay, let's move. You can attack, attack, and then I'm going to have Lamiana step over here. You can step back over here. Uh, Kiro Kiro does not have... He only has two attack. Well, I guess she only had two attack, too. Um, and we'll have... You can step up here and repair this nest. You are still poisoned, so I'm not going to have her heal up just yet. Uh, but let's see. Do we have anyone else who's got more attack? I think two attack is pretty much the highest we have at this point in time. Yeah, even Anala only has two attacks, so I guess it really wasn't worth sending her all the way over here. Um, so where is our breeding male? That would be Vonro. Let's send Vonro back. We'll have Kunu Duke. Kunu Duke is actually pretty cool looking. He's got B and G. Let's have you fly over here, repair your nest, and breed. And we'll have Anala can go here, breed. And we'll send her down here. And then I'll actually have... Ooh, I don't know where I want to put Kook here. I'm going to put him right here. Because then he won't block access to the Baryena. But we can also make sure... Oh, he, did, he does have H immunity. So that's a good thing. 
So with that said, we want to send as many adult creatures as we can, although we don't have that many of them. So she's not pregnant. We could do with a turn of not, uh, not breeding either. Although actually, ooh, how much damage? Okay, six days. Ooh. This could get a little interesting. I don't want him to take out lice either. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna risk it and then see. He's only got one attack. Other, oh, rice and lice. I think rice will come over here and we'll have her attack too. And hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. So let's gather some of his grass too. And... All right, let's have you come up here, breed. You can scoot over to the side and gather. You can step down here and you can get back in the nest. And then you can come up here. Oh, she's out of turns. Okay, I didn't realize that. Darn. All right, hopefully this nest won't be uh, destroyed. In fact, let's make sure that it's not. But we'll have you gather as well. We are losing food, but I'm not overly worried about that. We actually have... Two. Okay, let's have... Oh, Rasiko is sick? I didn't realize she was sick. Oh no, please don't tell me she got any of our other creatures sick. Okay, thankfully she didn't. So, let's have her go around this way and make her way up. And you can fly down here, gather this meat, and then you can fly up here. You can gather, or catch this rabbit, and then fly down here. And you can fly over here and collect this crabbit meat. And I think they should be good. They'll be able to escort her up uh, pretty well. We just have to make sure we keep a little bit of a distance away. Or are they okay? G and A, C and B, C and G. So not all of them are immune to her sickness. So we need to be cautious of that. Let's go over here so that the can't, or the baby Baryena can't escape. And you can dig. And you can sit up here and we'll gather some grass. And then Rice is waiting for the poison to wear off so she won't take additional damage. We'll make sure we gather from here. And we can try and dig as well, although that was unsuccessful. Let's go ahead and start a new day. My goodness, we have so many creatures. This is what happens. Oh, and of course he attacked one of our breeding males. So she is now done with her poisoning. But I think it's going to be more important for Kuro Cure to use this healing fruit. And he'll actually fly back over here and breed. Who are you? Rarota, no. Where are the bunnies stealing from? Oh, right over there, okay. You, good thing you can hop over and kill the bunny. And I'll actually have you come back. And then Monroe Duke can gather the meat and come back. All right, let's make sure you finish off this Baryena. And let's make sure we tame the baby bear unit as well. So we're going to offer three food. And this is going to change pretty much everything. So I'm going to have... We'll have uh, Anala gather some food. And what I'm going to do is we're actually going to decide which of our creatures are going to uh, end up being the breeding females here. So the bear Yina, is going to have pretty... I, I think the Baryena will have randomized genetics. So I think Kakois is going to breed with the Baryena. So we'll mark her with pink. Uh, but what we want to try and do is get in like the, the hind legs and whatnot. So we'll have Kakois. So we want to try to get as many as much variety and immunity genes too. So C and A. Um, I think what we'll do too is let's have you fly up to the stump... We'll have you move on from here. You can sit on this stump and light the way. You can actually kill this bunny. <laughs> and you could even fly all the way up here and kill this bunny too. You can come gather the meat. But first, let's catch this bunny, gather the meat, and then settle down here. These guys can really get around the mountain very quickly. I wonder how that'll happen, how that'll work when the snow falls, though. We'll have to find out. So let's have you hop up here. You can kill the bunny and gather the meat. Oh, and we also need... Oh, I didn't... Oh, gosh. I made a mistake again with that. Let's have you step up here. 
you can breed and then step back down here. Um, Rarota... I don't know. Somehow I don't think Rarota's genetics are probably going to be worth... Even though he does have this F immunity, we already have... So there's only so many immunity genes you can bring with you onto these ports over here. And... I don't, I don't think, I think we're starting to get to the point where we're going to have too many. So you, however, can gather these coconuts, which will be good and help us. So, but let's continue on and decide who else is going to breed. So I think, let's see. So Kakois is going to breed and she has C and A. Maysana has C and B. And she actually doesn't have... Uh, a blood clotting gene, so let's make sure we put that in because we want to make sure she has that still. And so I think Masana will end up breeding with the Baryina. Uh, let's see, maybe Lalara as well, C and G. Let's, we're probably going to breed a lot of our females with this Baryina. Uh, so that's, how many spaces do we have? So we have one, two, three, four. We have four spaces, so we're probably going to try and kind of enclose this Berina and keep him surrounded by our tribe so that he doesn't run away. And let's actually put Lice here. So he is a friendly Berina. We have tamed him, and so he won't attack us. And so we'll probably just kind of have certain creatures that are going to kind of watch over him. Now, the rest of these creatures will probably end up heading off to the mountains, and I will try and... Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, the nest is broken. Okay, let's just destroy that nest and gather this grass. So, Vonro, I think... Well, Vonro is done passing on his immunity genes, right? G and A. We have both of those in the family, right? We've got uh, A. We've got G. We've got all of those genes in the family still, so we don't need to keep breeding Vonro. So, Vonro will go ahead and go on yellow here. So, B and C. B, B... B, C. Okay, yeah, so we don't need to breed Isla either, so she will also go on yellow. And what yellow means is we'll probably send them off to the top of the mountain to hunt bunnies, because there's so many of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Taduk Duke has B and A... Because we, we also do need to set up some breeding pairs, too. And so, let's see. I think Orere, G and B... Might be worth breeding Rare too. I'm gonna have to Duke Duke step aside. We'll put Rare here for now, and we'll put her on pink. But we'll we'll look more at this in a little bit here. You can. Oh no, I didn't mean to move her again. Okay, well Duke Taro, let's have you go there for the moment and just kind of see. Oh, you can catch this bunny. Oh, he didn't even kill it though. He's not all that strong. Okay. Um, I'm gonna destroy, or I'll have you dig first actually. Um, Kukir. Kukir can't fly, but he does have that important H immunity, so we'll have to find a mate for him, too. What I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna put the... I'm gonna put better fertility in, because he has really bad fertility. And we'll put in some of the, um... What, what else do we want to put in? We'll put in we'll put in the uh, other wings, so that hopefully he can have flying babies pretty much right away. Now, with that said, I think... We need to keep working with this group as well. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll start a new day. Let's have Nutavon move out of the nest. And we'll start a new day here. All right. You are going to gather from here. And... Okay, the bird is... Oh, the bird is over here. Let's actually see. Are we able... Yes, we can attack the bird of prey. A couple of times. Let's have... Okay. Where did the Baryuna go? The Baryuna stayed here. You didn't... One, the Baryuna didn't hit one of you, did he? No. I thought I heard someone get hurt, but I'm not sure who. Let's have... I'm gonna have Duke Taro fly down here. You can attack the Bird of Prey. I want to see if anyone else will be... If we'll actually have a lot of our creatures be able to attack the Bird of Prey, though. Is there... Yes. Like, I want to see... I want to see if we're... Oh, where is the bunny stealing from us? Oh, the bunny's right here. We can actually get the uh, the bunny there. Let's have you go there, and then you're going to start heading off to the... Where? Oh, right down here again. Okay. And how about no Mr. Leech? Let's not do this. We'll have you continue to gather here. 
you can come over here and gather and then we'll fly back or we'll, we'll jump back over here. So let's see. We've had another non poison fang creature. Let's have Mutata fly. Or I keep saying fly. Now I'm so used to them flying that it feels weird when they're not. Um, and where did our other breeding female here go? Um, did she die? Where did she go? I. She didn't have the poison fangs. Did she get moved over here somehow? Or am I just really blind? I'm really confused now. Honorary has C and D, G and D. Is there anyone? It wasn't you, Rise. You were gonna wait for this healing fruit to return. And Lice, let's make sure. So let's see, what genes do we have? So we have C and A, G and B. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's, is, do we want to have lice? C and B. So these two actually, no, they don't have B, but is there a better creature who has B? Uh, a better female with B. What, do you have B? Either of these guys. You have B. Masana. I think Masana will be the better option. So you can actually dig here. You can snatch this uh this rabbit and then you can snatch this rabbit and kill this one too but let's have you fly all the way back down here and you can kill this one as well maybe you can come over here it's not too cold so i'm not overly worried can you actually you can attack okay and you can attack <gasps> Oh, you did! You can kill it! Oh my goodness! Oh, and that gives you a lot of food! Oh, man, that gives you a lot of food! My goodness! Okay, so let's get our, our, uh, our hunting group ready to head out as well. And I think... How are these guys doing? B and A. We've got that represented, right? We have... Yeah, Masana has C and B, so we've got that. Do we have G represented? We have G and B, and you have A, so B and A are both represented, and G and C, G and C, yes, so these guys will also, oh, he's still bleeding, oh no, oh, I made a mistake, you guys, oh, I shouldn't have used the healing fruit without making sure we, oh, I feel really bad now, sorry, Kiro Kira. Oh, man. Okay, Rice, then, I think, is not... I think Rice will go on a hunting expedition as well. We'll have her be one of our, our hunting creatures. Let's have Kook here come over here and help kind of tend to the nest. So, Rice will fly up here. They can fly all the way out here. Wow. Um, let's have you can fly out here. You can fly out this way as well and can gather this crabbit meat. Uh, we'll make sure these guys stay to watch over the nest here. And we're gonna keep breeding these guys. Do we have... Okay. We have B and D. Do we have... We had C and D, so she couldn't breed with him. He's a little older, but I'm thinking if we could find a creature who could breed with him, that might be really beneficial. But I don't see any poison fangs who could. So, let's see as well. Oh yeah, and then we also have little Neuro. So, Neuro, let's see. And then Larace is pretty good as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this nest though, and we can also dig. Um, could you... Oh, definitely. Okay, so let's have Lice... I think Lice, because we already have... Oops, let's put her on Omega. Because we already have a CB creature, right? In fact, yeah, Masana does. And she's got somewhat better genes. Yeah, so we'll have Lice go out this way and go hunting as well. Let's have Lice fly this way. And then Masana can fly down here. And we do have one more spot. So, B and G. B and A. We'll keep looking and see if we can find a creature who might be good to breed. So, and then these guys have already used their moves. Let's come over here. 
you can fly off this way and sit up here. We'll probably just kind of perch a lot of our creatures on these, uh, um, on these, uh, the perches and use that to our advantage. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's gather here as well. We actually are not doing badly on food either. Uh, the race can stay here. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll start a new day again. So this Baryina should be almost an adult. He has... He's still considered a child. Okay. That's not so good. All right. Riceco. There's a root here that you can dig up and you can come over to this one. We'll have Riceco kind of move around and help collect some roots as well. Um, you can go this way. All right. Oh, and you can attack this one. You can attack this one and this one and gather one. You can come down here and gather this one. Let's have you... Oh, Lalara. Lalara, I wanted to bring back. Let's have Lalara fly up here, dig, and then fly down. Because Lalara might be... So what does she have? She has CG. She might be good to breed with our Baryena as well. But we definitely want to make sure we're getting the maximum fertility in that we can. Because otherwise it's going to cause some problems. So, let's see. Let's have... Okay, she can't move again. You can dig. So, oh, you can dig here. And then you can dig here. Oh, I had it on hearing. That's why I wasn't finding any roots. Oh, okay. We might be able to catch a clown koi, too. Although, we have low fishing, so I don't think we will. Let's have you sit up here. And we had twins born, but none with the poison fangs. Um, let's have you sit up here. You can come over. Actually, let's put you in the permanent nest here. Oh, this poor guy is just... He's lingering. Rarota. Oh, he's probably cold. He probably... He's probably cold. And you know what? He has terrible... Well, are he... I mean, they're not awful genetics, but they're not the greatest. It's nothing extraordinary. I honestly think... That by now, he's been here for so long that he's kind of just become an accepted part of the family. And they'd be okay with uh, with him coming over here. And he can sit in this hot spring up here. Alright, let's see. There is a Dodomingo as well. Um, let's see. We could attack. I'm going to attack the Dodomingo. Even though that might cause it to, to call others. Because, I mean... It's a food source. All right, so let's see, too. Do we have any? So Kakuta, B and G, C and B, they cannot breed. G and B, they cannot breed. C and A, B and G. So I think what we might do, let's fly up here. I'll put these guys on blue for now. And we'll breed these guys. So he needs to have the beak in his, um, he does need to have the beak mutated in. And his fertility could be better, so we'll put that in as well. But um, we'll start breeding these guys. And I'll have I'll give her a blue gem for now because we also want her to breed with the Baryena. But we'll have her make a nest right here. And because she's nesting right here, that will stop the Baryena from being for from leaving. But at the same time, it will also um oh, we, and we can collect here too. At the same time, it will um. It'll enable her to actually be uh, making good use of herself, I guess. Uh, she won't just be sitting and waiting for a long time. Um, so she she will have something to do in the meantime before we're trying to breed her for those Baryena genetics. So I'm gonna have... Why don't you come up here and kill this bunny? And you can kill this bunny. <laughs> These guys are just absolutely insane when it comes to killing bunnies, too. Um, they do an incredible job. Oh, hey, who was just born here? Oh, she has... Ooh, Rila has some really cool genetics. So she has... How much strength does she actually have? She only has two still. Um, and this guy is still a child, so it's going to take him a little while to age up. Or I don't know if he actually registers having a teen stage, though, so we'll have to see. Let's go ahead, breed, and nest. But Rila has the... Does she have albinism? <gasps> she does! Oh, that's what's going on here. I didn't know these guys had it. 
Oh man, I guess we've been carrying it. Where did that come from? We've been carrying it in our family for a long time and I never even realized. Um, back from Kunuvan. Kunuvan, I think, was our first winged creature, wasn't he? I think he was. I'm pretty sure he was our first winged creature. He actually carried albinism recessively and it's been lurking around in our genetics for a long, long time. I'm surprised it stayed with us. I didn't even realize it would. All right, let's have you can come up here and gather this meat. Um, we'll sniff around. Oh, there's a root here and there's a root here you can dig. Uh, you can gather this. Let's see, maybe we'll put, we'll put you down here. And there's some more bunnies we can go after. There we go, we'll go ahead and gather that meat and you can hop over here and kill this one as well. Um, why don't you hop over this way and kind of just keep an eye on things over there. You can gather up this bunny meat and none of these guys can dig. So we'll have you sit up here and actually you can swoop down on this bunny and we can kind of just keep an eye on things. Where is this? Where do we keep hearing them stealing? I'm not even sure. All right. Um, and we did have a male poison fang. So A and D. Would he be able to breed? Okay, C and D, so no. C and D, where are other females? Okay, C and D, no, I don't think so. So we've got to keep, uh, we gotta keep going. And we'll have you destroy your nest and then you can hop over here. You can step out of the nest and you can get back in this nest. We've got a lot of creatures, and it actually is about time to wrap the episode. Oh my goodness, we have gone way over. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, I think. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.